Zaycon Open House as a bait to show off what Zaycon Digital Prince Nation is able to do. I'm from Zaycon Belgium, the headquarters of the production of Zaycon Digital Printing Systems. And we're trying to set up dealer networks now in Africa. We are having startup of the Zaycon Digital Printing Press in Nigeria. Zaycon Digital Label Struck Document Print and Machine is a digital machine that is capable of handling a large number of printing with good quality production. The machine can print on basically almost every street, from paper to labels. Five color digital label press, printing simplex. It's the most productive digital label press in the world. High quality 1200 DPI label press. If you compare to the inkjet, the major advantage is quality. Already the resolution is standard 1200 dpi with a 4-bit depth quality, which automatically is much higher already and will not affect the speed. The stability being dry, it will always be the same result and the same consistency of uh, quality and print job. Color fastness, which is very consistent on the long run. So the color you are printing today on a certain substrate will be exactly the same as the one you will print next week or next month, which for these applications, for instance labels, is very important. The setup as we have it here is uh, with an unwinder, printing machine and a rewinder and the finishing will be done offline on a digital uh, converter, which is able to do varnishing, UV curing, die cutting and uh, slitting and rewinding so we will have a complete finished product in the end. You can print continuous, you can even print wallpaper or in wallpaper mode with the machine or you can print banners up to 50, 60, 100 meter full rotary principle. It's also a very big difference compared to some of the other digital printing technologies. We introduced the computer to play it in prepress and it's almost exactly the same thing here. Once you have your design done and you send to the RIP, you can click a button and it goes to the digital press. If you want to print, you normally print with CMYK. But there are some really, really difficult colors that you will not get in this CMYK gamut. And these are Pantone colors. For us to be able to print Pantone, is why we have the fifth color. If you are printing on transparent substrate, for instance, you will need white. So if you print your CMYK, the fifth color here will be the white. And for some of the samples we've printed, we've used the white as the background for the CMYK color in our transparent material. A lot of people are worried when you come to label printing because you have to repeat the jobs. And a lot of people are worried that what if you have a problem with the machine and you have to stop it? When you start again, do you have to requeue the job on the reap and all that? But really, it's just like your laser printer. If you, are, if you are out of paper and you put paper, it continues from where it stops. Or if you have a jam and you take out the paper, you, you recover the machine, it also continues from where it stops. The same way here, if for any reason there is an alarm that needs you to do something on the machine, once that is done and the machine recovers, it continues printing from where it has stopped. So there, you, you're not losing time, you're not losing material, and you don't have to re-rip the job and redo the job from start all over. Looking at the technology, the only thing I think is a disadvantage for this part of the world where we are in is the online system. We can see how long the machine is already is. We have chose to go offline so that we do not consume a lot of space. We don't have the luxury of that kind of space. That's one reason. And the second reason we've decided to go offline is also the fact that the decode that does the finishing is faster 
than the machine itself. So we can actually have one decode for two Zycon machines. We can start today with a machine that is limited in width and speed. Once you see that your orders are growing, you can actually upgrade the machine either to a, in terms of width, also in terms of the speed. The Zycon machine is built to, in such a way that it's easy to upgrade it on the field. I think that Nigeria in the African region is one of the countries, and especially also the Lagos area, that is booming a lot. People are very eager into technology. There's a lot of going on here in Nigeria. We had a good contact with Technology Global already from the past, so that's the reason why we start up here first. We might be only seven hours flying from headquarters in Belgium, but still seven hours is very far. Because it's not just the flight, it's the engineer availability, it's the visa, it's the immigration and so on necessities. So definitely our strategies have the expertise Sales, but also service and spare parts have it on the ground locally. That's the reason why each and every machine sold in a country, like for instance now today here in Nigeria, will automatically require an invitation by us of the local dealer's technician to come and attend a four weeks training in Belgium. It's free of charge, but it's compulsory. Uh, and this is very important to at least already have the expertise here, not only for the uh, installation, also for the regular maintenance and, if need be, for whatever intervention. Same with the spare parts. Spare parts needs to be here on the ground. Technology Global Services is actually known for good backup support. Leadership here is basically technically minded. We also do not play with support. So for this machine, we've actually sent people to Zycon in Belgium for training, both on the engine and on the decode, on the finishing part. And we're well able to support the market. We also have a machine here in our showroom so we can try out a lot of things because it's a new technology. And we know that we also need a learning curve. Technology Global is not new to us. I mean, we have been working in previous graphics lives together with Mr. Akintunde Oduole, together with Mr. Bidemi Beecroft and his whole uh, team, administrative but also technical staff, since uh, Drupa 2004. That was our very first performance that we did, more into the offset pre-press business at that time, but already together. A cooperation for a different graphic product, but definitely with the same requirements of service and expertise on the ground, spare parts and a quick feedback and responsiveness towards the printer. So it's very easy to say for me that I hardly looked around for another partner when we decided with Zycon to start uh, our presence over here and I went straight to the Technology Global partnership because I knew this was the best choice. work for a company like Unilever, GSK, Macedo. Most of these organizations, they travel far to South Africa, to China, to get most of this thing down. They labor the kind of product I found on ground here. Even the kind of technology we had where I worked before has a limitation compared to what I saw on ground here. So no one so far in the country that can get this product of kind of labor that this machine produces. It's an interesting technology. It is, and um, am I impressed? Yes, I am. The Zycon, it has a bright future, a big bright future, because that is what we require here in this country because of our level of economy. The machine will be of advantage to us because right now we're into printing large formats and offset printing, and of course, there are possibilities for expansion, you know, and possibly in the nearest future. Interesting, uh, digital 
printing has been trending for a while and um, there's been a lot of focus, a lot of move from the conventional printing to digital printing based on um, saving time and resources. And uh, this captures it very well, uh, the, the move from uh, conventional printing, you know, avoiding the plate making and the, uh, the pre-press area. And people, you know, the world is moving into, moving very fast towards, you know, um, eliminating quite a few of bottlenecks. And because everything is happening very fast, digital printing, I believe, is going to take over printing in a very short while. So this is an impressive uh, one, and um, it looks like a whole lot of opportunities and uh, opportunities have been created. Uh, so the machine is a good one. I think uh, it will do what it's promised. They will definitely enjoy, they will be ready to just be able from today on to indeed answer the requirements of the markets and meet the needs of the market, which are quick turnaround, just in time, so not too many big stocks, but just on request printing, even for small volumes and definitely for everything which is personalized or variable printing. Like I felt from seven, eight years ago when we started with, with Aqua Graphics, it was a brand that was not in Nigeria, it was not popular, and what we did was to introduce the brand. And because the equipment is reliable and we have a good backup support, it was easy to sell the brand. We've, we've got a lot of installations with that. Um, in Nigeria and outside Nigeria, a lot of installations that we currently service and there are also a lot of orders still coming in in that area. So it, we've done it before, that's why I feel really confident that it doesn't matter um, as long as the technology is, is reliable and it's a machine that can work and we have done a lot of benchmarking, we've done a lot of underground work. We've traveled abroad and visited a lot of companies to try and see the kind of problem they're experiencing with the machine before we finally chose the Zycon brand. I, I think it's a machine that will take the printing industry in Nigeria, especially in the area of labels and packaging, to the next level.